After startup, and before entering in the maneuvering area of the aerodrome, you must first broadcast your intentions. With your engine run up and pre-takeoff checks completed, your passenger seatbelt securely in place, and a careful check for any other aircraft on final, it's time to broadcast your departure plans before entering the runway. Remember to use the last four letters of your registration for the initial contact. Timmins Radio, Golf Lima November Yankee, Cessna 172 is holding short on Alpha for departure 18 Muskoka with the numbers. After which the RCO will acknowledge your transmission with a response. Hey, November Yankee, Ron, your runway 18, take position near discretion. What's your destination? Lima November Yankee will be departing Muskoka to the southwest 4,500 feet to Collingwood. Hey, November Yankee, Ron, uh, report rolling and clear. Lima November Yankee, Roger. We'll report on the takeoff roll and clearing the zone to the southwest Muskoka. Timmins Radio, Lima November Yankee is rolling runway 18 Muskoka with a right hand turn out to the southwest. We'll report clearing the zone. Roger, thank you. After safely completing your takeoff, use your climb out to check for any potentially conflicting traffic. This is an excellent time to make these observations as any other aircraft will stand out more clearly because they'll be flying above you. Climb straight ahead to circuit height before making any turns, usually 1,000 feet above the aerodrome elevation. And then make your final MF report as you depart the MF area. Timmins Radio, Lima November Yankee is clearing the zone to the southwest at 4,500. Lima November Yankee, Roger, have a good flight. Lima November Yankee, thank you. Switching to 126.7. Before we end this review of mandatory frequency procedures, a few final points to bear in mind. If you're performing continuous circuits at an MF airport, report when joining the downwind leg. Report when established on final, being sure to include your landing intentions, whether they be full stop, touch and go, or go around. And after your final landing, report when you're clear of the landing area. If you're flying through an MF area, Call in at least five minutes before entering the MF area, stating your aircraft's identification, your position and altitude, along with your intentions. Be sure to transit the area at least 2,000 feet above the aerodrome elevation and report once you're clear of the MF area. If at all possible, it's a good idea to avoid overflying MF areas altogether in order to avoid possible conflict with other aircraft and to minimize radio congestion on the mandatory frequency. One final note, bear in mind that Nordo or no radio or receiver only aircraft are allowed to operate in MF areas by prior arrangement with the MF operator. Your only warning of this may be a transmission advising you, which means you may be advised of their potential presence, but not where they are. So keep your head on a swivel and expect the unexpected because the final responsibility for locating aircraft in an MF area lies strictly with you.